Hello, everybody. Oh, I am just done my three-in-one cleanser. Now I am going to do, I'm working on my skincare. Summer's coming. You know, we want to look, well, we want to look good all year, but we really want to be, make sure our skin is hydrated with the weather changing and all that fun stuff. I hope everybody's having a great morning. Um, I'm hanging in there, trusting in the Lord, as I do every day. And if you've got any questions about any of the skincare or makeup that you see me doing, feel free to message me, ask me on here. I don't know that my videos are definitely uploading. I didn't have any comments on the last two, so, I don't know. It might not even be going out because I'm in Facebook jail for talking about freedom of speech. <laughs> and then that got, I got an apology for that and said that it did, after investigation, it was fine with community standards. And then I got, I shared three religious posts and got put back in Facebook jail. And then uh, that got lifted when I challenged it. And I'm back in Facebook jail for the very first one about freedom of speech. How funny is that? And so, I'm still, I'm in Facebook jail. I can't challenge it no more. Um, <laughs> I message them daily that there was a problem and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, ain't heard nothing back. So, I'm in countdown mode. Forget how many days, 13, 12, something like that. So, I don't even know that my videos are going out. So, if you'd let me know, comment on them. Um, I've been uploading them to YouTube also. Follow me on YouTube. I can't go live on my phone on YouTube, but I can on my computer, and that's when I started redecorating. And I've not got that completed yet. So, because I, I don't like the setup. No offense uh, if... I don't know that AJ's on this page, but it was his suggestion, and I just don't, I'm too far, and so I'm still in the process of figuring out what works for me. I wasn't home yesterday because I went back to our property in Illinois. That was so, so hard. Uh, kind of wrote a little poem and put it on the site yesterday, on his site, on Team Roy. Uh, poetry. I used to write poetry all the time before. And I guess it's kind of how I let my feelings out. And so I wrote just a little short poem and uh, that expressed what I was going through. It was much harder than I anticipated it would be. I thought that I was at a better place because I was doing what he wanted. I've been following through with his plans that he had. And um, I'm just honoring his memory. And um, it was just much harder because that's where we start. So, um, bear with me. Uh, never doubt that I'm not uh, trusting in the Lord or my feelings on the Lord. Uh, if you see me down or haven't struggling, just pray for me. Um, has nothing to do. I'm trusting in the Lord, and I know it was the Lord's will. And I'm, uh, I'm glad that Roy's in heaven with God. Um, He made a lot of changes in his life in the very end. He's always loved God. I mean, a lot of us has always loved God, but we've not always lived for him and abided in his word. And that's when you find peace is when you abide in God's word and live for him instead of ourselves or the world. But it don't stop the tears. You know, it don't, it don't stop the memories and the tears. 
So I'm working through that. I'd much rather Roy be in heaven and not be suffering, but it don't make it easier. Now I'm going to do my face makeup. Now y'all know why I have to wear the wa waterproof. <laughs> uh, and I will have to continue wearing the waterproof. <laughs> uh, but never doubt my love for God or my belief in God because that's what life's about, you know? The sooner everybody realizes that and repents, maybe life can get back to normal. That's the only hope for our country is us repenting and getting back to uh, obeying in God's word. And if I get put in Facebook jail for expressing this, then oh well, because, you know, I'm always, I didn't always live for God. I didn't. But... I know that's a must, and uh, I've repented for that. Oh, I better I better focus on what I'm doing. Sorry, guys. Okay, so now I took some of the almond, <laughs> and I'm taking the light tinted moisturizer, and I'm taking a little bit more of the almond. So I've took the tinted moisturizer, which is a color correcting cream, also, and um, applying, I applied it with the almond face moisture or face foundation. This stuff is so light. <laughs> Feels like you don't have anything on. There's new stuff happening to feel like I got it on in order to have the coverage. With so many brands, that's the way you just kind of cake it on, and that's sad. <laughs> but it's one of the reasons I love Sinjins. One of the mini, 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 mini guys. Um, can't wait till I can go back live with y'all. I miss y'all so much. Do I miss y'all? Y'all are my therapy. <laughs> I'm gonna take some toasted rose blush, which is, ooh, I done a little dark, but that's okay. Because as long as I keep moving it around, I'm gonna, I'll be good. It's when you set it that when you quit moving it around, that it sets. Sorry. Yesterday, and I can tell today, I'm out of sorts. And that's just because I got a lot on my mind, as everybody does. You know what I think I'm going to do? I did put my eye illuminator, but I think I did this yesterday. You know, I, ain't that odd? I can't even remember. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put it on my eyelid. Bless sense. Y'all see me talk about how you can do so many different things. You can use the shadow sense as blush, lips, lipstick, highlighter, whatever. I don't know. I don't know that y'all have seen me use the blush sense on my eyelids. I don't, I can, but you can. And it, everything, all the shadows, the blush sense, the foundation, everything has the simplex complex in it, which helps your skin, uh, renew its cells faster to break it down. I've shared all the uh, papers, what um, information, product knowledge on what everything's got in it. But I know y'all like to be reminded, not everybody looks at those papers that I, or papers, uh, instructions, that, that ingredients that I share. So, I'm just reminding y'all that everything's got chemicals in it. You know, or when I say chemicals, Simplex Complex, which is not harsh to your skin, but it's got, the Simplex Complex renews your fast face, fa your skin faster, okay? Your skin renews itself every so often, but there's determining factors, like if you're eating correctly, if you're, you know, just vitamins. Um, but the Simplex Complex, Simplex Complex helps renew it faster. And when you put on your makeup, your skin feels so good. And you can't beat that. I can't beat that. And I love the way that it feels. Now, 
I'm going to, now that I did use a scent, there's certain brushes that I like. I don't use all of the simple, the Sinjits brushes. This is a blush brush. I love it. I, my eyebrow brushes are simple, but you notice this is not, and that's my highlighter. I swap up. So you, wh whatever works for you, you know, not everybody, um, I'm going to do a light makeup look, uh, eyeshadow look. I think I'm going to do pink. I used the Toasted Rose. I think I'm going to put a tad on my eye. I'm going to do a little darker than what I anticipated. Remember, the powders are cream to powder. So, as long as you're messing with it, you'll be able to move it. Okay? So, because it will dry and sit, and that's why it's waterproof and smudge proof. Okay, so that just added a little on the outside of my eyes. I think I need, I'm gonna do a dab there too. And I, I know I'm gonna go underneath my eyes. So I'm just taking my brush. You know, you're just kind of like painting. I don't know if y'all think about it like that, but, and I'm not, I've never been much of a painter, but I've always loved playing in makeup. There we go. Just, there we go. Now I'm also gonna take this brush. Oops, and I'm gonna go underneath my eyes. So, if I can get this to stop moving. I'm just going underneath my eyes like an eyeliner. I'm just taking the wand and going up underneath it. So simple. And I'm going to let it sit just a tad, and then I'm going to brush it in. Um, meanwhile, I'm going to look for my brown eyeliner, because I do want it to, I don't want to bl blend it all out, but I just want to blend it in. There you go. That was perfect amount of time. Okay, so now I'm going to take the brown, because I like to wear brown. I do wear black, I tell y'all. You will catch me wearing black, and it really opens up my eyes. Uh, but I've just been kind of partial to the brown. We all get partial with, with different makeups, don't we? As much as we try not to, <laughs> we got to step out of the box. Um, I am going to go with, I'm going to do the rustic brown. I like, I'm liking the rustic brown on my eyebrows. Uh, and I'm just tapping and filling in because I over plucked as a kid. Whoops. Okay, remember what I said, you keep working with it. If you put it on dark, spread it out. You wanna do that arch. Tap, tap, tap is what I do. Cause I, I want it to look natural and not like I'm drawing it on. And we don't want a McDonald's arch. So now I'm also, cause it's thin right in one particular area. I switched my brushes and I, I found, I like this angled little brush. I don't even know if it's an eyebrow brush. I think it's an eyeliner. But rustic brown is a shadow sense. So I'm just tapping, tapping, tapping for that more of a natural look. I don't know if y'all can see that. Because I am using the lash extents, which helps uh, my eyebrows grow back. And they have, especially right in this one area, because I had plucked too far over. And remember, you do it like this and like this. And that tells you where your your eye... Or you could take a spoon. Uh, I might demo that one day. And then I got to do this brush. So Shadow Sense is waterproof and smudge proof too. So I don't have to worry about if I was to if I was to go swimming. Because y'all, most y'all know I do not get my head wet. In the... Even when I wash my hair in the shower. My face is away from the water. I do not wash my face in the shower. I wash it in my sink. It's weird. I'm sharing my weird quirks. Um, it's just, I don't know. I don't like water in my face. I'm like a, a cat in water when it comes to that. But anyway, so switching back to my little tapping, tapping right in there, there for a natural look because we don't want to look fake. I mean, makeup's supposed to just enhance our looks. There we go, whoops. This, this is hard because I'm farther away and I can't see close up and I can't see far off. 
and you can't put makeup on with glasses. <laughs> and my, I switch glasses. I, I have just the two separate ones. I use the readers and the far off, whatever you want to call it. So got my rustic brown, so it's waterproof. I could jump in to a pool or whatever if I if I was that kind of person, and I would still have my eyebrows when I come back up. If I was that kind of person, that sounds so silly, don't it? Now, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to contour with two different um, colors. I'm gonna use the mini pearl shimmer, sh mini pearl shimmers, mini pearl, mini pearl. I'm having a moment, mini pearl, mini pearl, uh, <laughs> mini pearlizers. Okay. So I'm use um I'm not gonna not that one. There's three, okay. I'm gonna use the moonbeam to highlight, and I'm gonna use the ember to contour. So with contouring, taking my little sponge, and I'm gonna go across my forehead like that, and then I'm gonna do my jawline. I'm gonna go just real quick up underneath. Even though I should have done it before I applied my blush, but still I just done it on my cheekbones. Okay, and I'm just going to rub it in. Now, if I wanted to make my nose slimmer, you do it on the sides. Maybe I'll do that real quick. You just do it on the side of your nose. Okay. Now, I'm going to take, as soon as I find that one, oh, I've had it. All right, moonbeam, and I'm going to highlight. You know what? I think I'm going to highlight with my finger. No, I'm gonna, okay, use my little brush. I just tapped a little, and I'm gonna go right in through here, down my nose, above my cupid's bow, and on my chin. Okay. And I'm just highlighting through there. I could even right above my cheekbone, above where I applied the blush. Okay, and I think, just use very, you see, I just used a tiny little dot. Might use a little bigger brush and just kind of soften it up a little. You can use your fingers. Very easy to blend. A little bit more on my cheeks. I, I like, I've been, my new thing's been using my fingers. <laughs> so, finger painting, I call it. So, I've highlighted. Let's see, I think I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna, ooh, I need to kiss my sass today. Kiss my sass, let me look for it. Y'all know that's, I was gonna do my bombshell. Whoops, come on, kiss my sass, I know you're in here. Goddess? Okay, y'all bear with me as I'm digging. Blush, I know I got kiss my sass. Kiss my, kiss my sass. So, you know what I think I'm going to do, though? Look at me. I'm just flying it by the seat of my pants. I'm going to use my berry. Lip liner. I'm just kind of painting on that line. I used to be scared to death of this rush. I'm just going to tell you. When you loosen up <laughs> and you don't stress so much about your makeup, <laughs> uh, it all blends together really well. I'm going to let that dry a second. And I've done, oh, I need to do my lash extend. Uh, I am, I'm not going to do Starry Sky. I already had it pulled up. No, that's Starry Sky. That, oh, I already had it pulled out. I did. So this helps your lashes grow. I wear it in black. comes in black, brown, and clear. I wear it during the day in black above my eyelids. I don't do wings. I might do wings one day this week. 
Uh, hold on, let me not get too much on that brush. It, it's very easy. Uh, so it's gonna help my lashes grow. And it doubles as eyeliner. How perfect and money saving is that? I'm all about saving money. <laughs> so, it's got, you just apply it on your lash line, like I said, helps your lashes grow. And it doubles as eyeliner. Now, I'm applying Kiss My Sass. See, I feel like I'm too far over. Sorry, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna let that set a second. And I'm gonna do, I, I, I need, you know what? Nope, I'm gonna do something. I need, I'm gonna do brown. I'm gonna do the rustic brown. The same thing that I done my eyebrows. I think I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna do just a tad above my eye. Just a tad. Use that same brush. And blend in. I like that. I, you know, it's <laughs> you just kind of play with it and decide. I've used done so many different things as I've been doing videos to show y'all. It's so much fun to play with makeup and get paid to play with makeup. <laughs> so. I uh, had no intentions to begin with of doing those colors. Here we go. So easy. Now, don't let my lips touch. That's why I was talking funny. Because it's got to dry. You go in the same direction. If you uh, don't let it dry, it's going to get sticky and you ain't going to like the way, uh, even that it, when it dries. It might smear it or whatever. This is my three-in-one lash primer, which also helps my lashes grow. So you will not see me apply it on my bottom lashes. And I have to be careful when I do my lash extend or my mascara, because my lashes grow and they're touching my eyelids. I would back off, except I like the way that when you apply the mascara, how it sticks to it. So. Third coat. Y'all see why I love Kiss My Sass? Love it, love it, love it. I love it in matte, and I love it in glossy. I'm going to wear it in glossy. Uh, you could, for a softer look, blend your eyeshadows like that afterwards with a blending brush. And if you're not sure, I have posted about which brushes you use for what. Let my lips dry before I put the glossy gloss on. Um... If you ever have any questions like that, let me know. And let me see. I, oh, I'm gonna take Candlelight, which some people use it as a base color. Well, I don't, you don't have Fallout. Let's see, you know what? I think I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna use my finger. I'm gonna use, this and I'm just gonna go up underneath my eyes to highlight and then I'm just going out to my eyebrows where sometimes I I don't know if y'all do this have a tendency and you go out too far so I just do that candlelight's good for cleaning up anything highlighting a base it's a pretty color uh, I mean it's you can use it to contour blemishes Highlight. Uh, there we go. Go down, not over. I love it. Now I'm going to apply my glossy gloss. See? 
Nothing on my stick, my wand. And throughout the day, if my lips start to feel dry, I will I reapply the glossy gloss or the matte. And it moisturizes shea butter, uh, vitamin E. It's great to wear alone if your lips are dry. Like mine don't look so much dry today. But if I don't drink enough water recently, I think due to medications, that's happening to me. So um, they don't, they look perfect right now. Perfect to me. Um, Got to do my mascara. Now, I think I'm going to do, and I've done this a couple times with y'all. This is not waterproof. I'm going to apply the waterproof. I love the brush. Okay. And I'm applying the waterproof or non-waterproof, it's voluminous, which I have the one, I have a couple of the, I'm going to do it underneath. I probably should have let my lashes on top dry. I'm going to do a coat with the waterproof over it. Um, if you, uh, I have some of the first ones that I was selling before the voluminous come out. I still have a couple of them left that's got Lash extend at one end and the color at the end. They are not waterproof, but I've got some. And um, if you're interested, uh, message me and I'll let you know how much they are and show you the picture. They're still in the catalog. You can also go to the catalog on my page or the my send site. So now I'm gonna apply the waterproof and I'm just applying it to the top. Who needs false lashes? I bought a pair and I don't think I ever even used one <laughs> coming a set because I think I had thought about selling them <laughs> and uh, changed my mind on that. I was selling Sengents anyway and I thought, well, why not just grow yours? <laughs> and I have. Oh, see, my lashes are so long. Let me take a, there we go. I'm going to do, I am still going to do another coat. So I hope you can see up close. That's why I don't like where my mirror is. So I'm, I'm still redecorating guys. So bear with me. Uh, I will have it figured out by the time I go live. And I am like, I will have a big old party the day I go live. Expect me probably to be on all day. That's how bad I missed y'all. Y'all let me know if you miss me. I appreciate it. And, um, that's it for today, ladies. I hope y'all have a fabulous Easter. Do not forget the reason for the season. And be safe. Um, don't forget to thank the Lord for waking you up this morning. And dear Lord, thank you for waking me up and giving me a blessed day, Lord. Lead me, guide me to make the right decisions and to walk in your word. In Jesus' name, amen. I had been up running and doing stuff and... Usually I do that before my feet ever hit the floor. And I might have and just because I do it every day. Uh, but I, it never hurts to do it twice. And I've done it with y'all. So y'all be sure and count your blessings. Thank you. And y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.